Hi, I'm Miss Adrian with Herrick District Library, and I would like to share with you a little overview of some of the amazing things that are happening here at the library this summer and out in our community that we are helping to create. So there are things that I'll talk about for all ages. Some things are perfect for everybody, like our summer reading challenge, of course. And then I'll get into some more age specific things. So we do have things for the itty bitty babies. And we have things for the super duper old people as well. And of course, everything in between. So we hope that you will find something that is perfect for you. And we are doing all of this for you so that you can be involved. And of course, as always, we make these programs and events free, free, free. So if you're looking for some ways to celebrate this summer, you are invited to join us at Herrick District Library. We are celebrating our 25th anniversary or our 25th birthday being a district library. So, Lots of celebratory events are on our schedule. You will find these program flyers with all the events listed out uh, at either library location or you can find them online or you may even have some being sent to your school for you. So if you're watching this at a school, uh, you may see these coming very, very soon. So I'll give you a little overview of what you can expect from Herrick District Library this summer. We hope that you will join us in celebrating all the things this summer with Herrick District Library. We are celebrating our 25th anniversary, or you could call it our birthday our 25th birthday of being a district library. And to do that, uh, we have our summer reading challenge and it highlights all the different special ways that we like to celebrate. So when we have our summer reading challenge, we like to make it very, very fun with lots and lots of options that everyone will be able to enjoy. So this challenge is the same for little ones all the way up through grown-ups and everybody in between. In this challenge, you are invited to read, of course, and to engage in different ways of celebrating. So you can't go wrong, really. All the greatest things all combined here. So to earn your special summer reading prize at the end of the summer, this goes from June 1st to August 15th. So if you do a certain amount of challenges, earn a certain amount of check marks on your list, then when you come back to the library at the end of the summer, you get to pick out a brand new book of your choice and you will get a special celebrate bookmark just for completing this challenge. So we hope that you will join us. Here are a few things that you can do to earn that special book prize. So to celebrate Holland, because this is our, our own wonderful community, you could get a check mark by visiting a special restaurant in the area that you like, or maybe you go to a special program or event, something you're really interested in that you can only find in the Holland area. Maybe you go and visit somewhere that you've never been in Holland and discover a new special place. And then you can get another check mark if you decide you want to celebrate Herrick. So maybe you come to an event at the library uh, or you could ask a staff member to give you a recommendation, tell you their favorite book or a book they think you would really like or maybe a special TV show that they think you might really enjoy. 
You could uh, visit the library, join us in one of our special places in the children's area, or just at the library in general. Find a special reading nook at the library and cuddle up in there. You can also celebrate by being with your friends and family. So one way that you can celebrate friends and family is maybe you write a special letter to someone. You could have a photo shoot with friends uh, or with family. You could play a new game. We have uh, some games at each library location. There are even some game nights throughout the summer that you can join us for. And of course, you can earn a check mark on your summer reading challenge with the help of some food or drinks. So if you have a special food, you can maybe try and make a food, uh, follow a recipe with your family, go out to eat in a special place. Maybe you make a dish uh, that you grew yourself. So maybe you had a garden this year from our seed library that you grew and, and nurtured, and then you were able to make something special out of it. You could also celebrate by being out in nature. We love being outside. So you can earn one of those special check marks if you maybe look for a little free library while you're outside or out for a walk. You could take a story walk at one of our local uh, county parks. You could read a book outside, maybe find a hammock or go to the beach. You could identify different animals or the different types of plants in your yard. Maybe just take a, a quiet walk. So that's another way that you can earn one of those check marks on your summer reading challenge. There are two more categories that I want to talk about. And then, of course, we'll talk about the reading part. Stories are another part of celebrating. Whenever I have a celebration with a bunch of people, there's usually lots of stories that come out. We talk about memories. So maybe you start a journal or you could submit one of your own stories to our short story contest at the library. Maybe you want to reread an old favorite story, and that could be the way that you earn your check mark. You can also celebrate. Well, you should always celebrate with music, right? There's always music at good parties and celebrations. So you can maybe make a special summer playlist and use that as your check mark. You could go to a music event or watch some of the street performers in Holland. Maybe you do some car karaoke with your friends or family, and that could count as well. And of course, I mentioned books. You can do this whole thing just by reading books, or you can do part of it by reading books. So on the paper charts, there is a spot for you to keep track of all of the books you read this summer, or you can use our Beanstack app and keep track of all the books that you read, and that will help you earn your Summer Reading Challenge prize as well. And it's nice because that Beanstack app, you can continue using it throughout the year, uh, even beyond this summer. So if you're the type of person who likes to keep track of what you read so you can talk about all the great books that you've read with your friends, then Beanstack as an app might be a really good tool for you. So we hope you will join us for our summer reading challenge this year and celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Our short story contest is back this summer. So every year we've been doing this special short story contest and there are different categories. So if you are ages five to seven, that's one category you would be judged together. Eight to 10 is another, 11 to 13, and then 14 to 18. So anyone in those age groups is welcome to participate. 
the way you'll find out how and how to get your story to us, that's all online. Um, or you can drop into either library, the big library downtown or the one on the north side of town. And we can give you extra information there on how to participate. But one really, really special thing about this is that all of the entries, any of the stories that are submitted will be put together into a book. And that book will then be put into our library and people can check it out, bring it home, read it. It'll be available at both library locations. You can come to the library and see some of the past year's uh, books that have been put together and see what that's all about. There's also a really special celebration for everyone who participates. So whether you win or not, we still want to celebrate you. Uh, and if you've been working on a story or maybe you you started a story this past school year that really excited you, maybe you can build on that and submit it. And we would love to see your hard work this summer. One thing that will be available and going on throughout the whole summer is called our Postcard Book Club. This is at the North Branch Library. And each month we have been trading out a featured book or series or a featured theme and we're inviting people to write us postcards about what they read that month. And then if you send back that postcard or put it in the book drop for us to find, we'll write back to you, especially if you include your address. That's very helpful. So if you include your address on the postcard, which we have a little stack of postcards at the North Branch, so you can take one, write on it, and then send it back to us. Uh, if, you, if you do that, then we will write back to you and you'll get some mail. So this summer, we are featuring in June the Who Was books, if you're familiar with those. There are so many. So the Who Is, Who Was books, any of those are up for grabs. So there'll be a nice big display with all of those types of books. And you can write to us and tell us what you thought of them. There, uh, in the month of July, ooh, this is a fun one. The month of July, we're going to focus on the Owl Diaries series. So if you are an Owl Diaries fan, we have a few other things going on throughout the summer that I think you will really like. So in July, there are three different Owl Diaries things going on. I'll talk about the other ones in a little bit. Uh, but that'll be a really, really fun month. Then August, we're going to focus on some science-y things. So if you are a fan of the Explorer Academy series, this month is for you. So please consider joining our little postcard book club so we can write back to you and talk about books this summer. One way you can get outside this summer is by visiting a story walk. And these story walks are at various Ottawa County parks throughout the area. Um, there are even more. If you go to their website, you can find some in Grand Haven, all around us. Uh, there are other libraries that are participating in this, but here at Herrick, we have some going on on the north side of town or the south side of town on any given day this summer, starting June 6th. So June 6th, you can find the book, Carl and the Meaning of Life at Hawthorne Pond. And what happens at these story walks is you can come at any time from June 6th to June 19th. And if you go for a walk at the park, you'll see the actual pages of the book on signs with little talking notes and activity suggestions at the bottom of each one. And as you walk through the pages of the book, 
you walk through nature on these trails. So it's a really cool thing, reading a book while you take a walk. It's amazing. So the other ones that are available this summer, there's another one at Riley Trails, The Tree in Me by Corinna Loikin. Then in July, beginning of July, you'll find Frederico and the Wolf by Rebecca J. Gomez. And then at the end of July at Hemlock Crossing, you will find I Know the River Loves Me or Yo Sé Que El Rio Me Ama by Maya Cristina Gonzalez. And that one's kind of special too because at Hemlock Crossings, they have a big river going right through it. So we try to do that with our story walks. We try to find special things about the parks that they're in and then we add the story to go with it. And then in August at Paw Paw West, you'll find When the Storm Comes by Linda Ashman. And at the end of August, Pine Bend, you will find Diary of a Worm by Doreen Cronin. That's such a fun one. I'm sure you'll be finding lots of worms this summer. So I hope you join us on any of those story walks and maybe you can make it a little challenge to yourself to go to all of them. That would be pretty fun. Something new you can find this summer at both library locations outside is Garden Steam. So science, technology, engineering, art, and math with a garden. So this one, you do want to plan ahead a little bit. Each Friday, starting June 17th through August 5th, there will be a special group session. This is great for ages six to 10, um, where you get to be messy in the garden and learn about all sorts of cool things. So these happen at 11 a.m. at the North Branch and 1 p.m. at the main library. And you'll want to sign up online ahead of time or stop into the library and we can help you sign up. So you can do that two weeks ahead of time for each week. We really hope that you join us for that. It's going to be so much fun and it's going to be messy, which makes it even more fun. If you are a fan of Click Clack Moo Cows That Type, that book by Doreen Cronin. It's been a favorite here at the library. If you like that book, I think you're really going to want to make sure that you come to our Click Clack Music program, which is at the main library on June 4th. And at that program, people from the Holland Symphony Orchestra are going to bring some of their instruments and reimagine that book using those instruments. So we're so excited to join them and to see what music can do to really make a story new and fresh. The North Branch is going to be celebrating Herrick's 25th anniversary with a special community art project. So this is for all ages to be involved in and we're asking everyone, starting June 6th, all the way up through the end of June, to add a piece of art that they created to a larger piece that we will put on display at the North Branch Library in July. So you can stop into the North Branch and it's based on the book Dreamers by Yuyu Morales, beautiful book that celebrates wonderful things like libraries and communities. So we're inviting you to add your own special piece of art. We'll have all the materials you'll need. And if you stop into the library and create one of those pieces, we will take your piece and add it to a larger, beautiful display. And we can celebrate our special community together. Did you know that we have a mermaid coming to the library? That's true. So Mermaid Molly is going to be joining us on June 15th 
at the main library downtown and she will be doing a story time. There will be chances for you to take photos with Mermaid Molly. And if you want, that week, you can sign up to get a special mermaid mindfulness jar that you can make at home. So mindfulness jars have some really neat things inside them that when you tip them and watch them, it makes you feel calm, which is part of mindfulness. It's good for our bodies. So you can join in with that um, through what we call a take and make. So you can sign up to bring those materials home and to make them at home. And then we do hope that you join us in welcoming Mermaid Molly to the main library. Do you like making slime or messes? Well, we have a program called All of the Slime, All of the Time. So most of the day on June 29th from 11 a.m. all the way until 7 p.m., if you stop into the children's activity room upstairs at the main library, you can join us in a big, messy, fun program where we will make slime. <laughs> if you're a very curious person and you like learning new things, you should join us for Dr. Math as they present Harnessing the Power of Infinity in Three Mysterious Numbers. What are those numbers? I'm not going to tell you. You have to come to find out. This is great for kiddos who are ages 10 and up. Uh, that's the main interest level of this program. But this will reveal the beauty and all of the usefulness in these three mysterious numbers. So there are two dates this is happening, July 6th and July 9th. So you have options to join us for Harnessing the Power of Infinity. If you are a fan of Owl Diaries, the book series, or if you just really, really, really love animals or owls, well, you can join us either at the North Branch or at the Main Library on July 18th. And you can actually see various types of owls in real life. So this is all with the help of our friends, the Outdoor Discovery Center. They will be bringing some owls for us to see up close. And there's more. This is another program that we've paired up with a take and make. So on that day at either library location, you can drop in and pick up an Owl Diaries Take and Make, full of all sorts of fun things to do with that wonderful book series. So we hope that you join us. This is great for all ages, um, and I think it's going to be really cool to meet some real life owls. On July 30th, outside at the North Branch, on the lawn, we are going to have a special bilingual program, meaning we will be having Spanish and English. So at this bilingual event, it's called Cuentos, Cantos y Comida, which means there will be stories, songs, and food. Mm -hmm. Think summery, yummy treats for this one. And there's a special guest who will be doing some performing, uh, singing songs, performing songs, and her name is Super Stoli, and she is quite super. So we hope that you will join us and Super Stoli at this special event uh, on July 30th. We've been talking about celebrating Herrick District Library's 25th anniversary, and we hope that you will join us for Herrick's 25th 
birthday bash. And that will be at the North Branch. So bring your family. There will be music and treats. It's a birthday party. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. So this is on Saturday, August 6th at the North Branch. There is a robot adventure at the main library on August 9th. And at this robot adventure, you can see robots that are designed by students right around here in the Holland area. So you'll be able to watch them do some crazy fun challenges. And of course, you can make your own little cute robot that you'll be able to uh, play with and learn about. So this is a partnership with a local high school team, Robotics Group. So please join us and learn a little bit more about robots. We have programs and events happening all throughout the summer at Herrick District Library. So be sure that you stop in, say hello to us, and find out what might be happening on that day. We also will have program flyers available at each location. And if you're watching this from a school, we might have some already sent to you or on their way to you. Uh, so you can uh, hopefully find all of the answers that you're looking for and lots of fun ways to celebrate with us this summer.